This video shows the process for creating an external style sheet and linking that into your HTML documents using the SeaMonkey Composer tool. You'll notice that we're starting with a file to which we have applied some styles internally already. So if I click on the HTML source tab, you'll notice that I do have a style section at the top of my file in the head area of the HTML file. And in order to use an external style sheet, we're going to take this set of styles and put them into a new file. So we're going to copy this content. We're going to create a new file. Go into the HTML source. Actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to use Notepad. So I'm launching a new instance of Notepad here. and I'm going to paste my content. Now, with an external style sheet file, we do not need the style tags top and bottom. So I'm going to remove that. And then we need to save the file with the extension CSS. So I'm going to save the file into my directory area. And it's important that the CSS be in the same area as the file that you're editing. So I'm going to uh, place it into my committee course 04 structure and down on the file name. Let me just move that into view. For the file name, I'm going to call this default style. CSS and then save. All right, the file now has been created. I can come into my SeaMonkey document that I've been editing and delete out the section here that had the styles information in. And now I'm going to add in my link to the file. So first of all, need to build the link. Link, what is it? It's a relationship equal style sheet. And then title equals default style sheet. And continuing the tag then, the href equals and I need to, again, find uh, what that file was called. So I'm going to go to my Explorer and come out to my desktop. And find what the file was named. So I've called it default style.css. To make this a little bit easier, I'm going to go into the properties for that file and then simply copy that file name out. So it's easier for me when I come back to my editing screen. So my hyper reference is going to be to that file name. Then I need to tell the browser what type of file that is and it's type text slash CSS, and then I can close my tag. Now, as I save my file, and then make sure that I'm saving to the right location, desktop, courses, All right, and now that I've saved both the HTML file and the CSS file into the same location, you'll notice that I have returned my styles that I had originally edited into my file. So again, just making sure that the style sheet reference 
and the HTML file are both located in the same directory.